welcome back children i hope all of you had a very relaxing summer break did you learn something new did you read a new story book or follow a new hobby and most importantly did you keep yourself safe and healthy i am sure all of you must be waiting eagerly for the schools to reopen even we teachers are waiting to meet you all till the schools reopen let us continue with the video tutorials so that you keep learning your lessons and we are able to connect today we are going to begin a new lesson and the name of the lesson is motions of the earth remember i told you about history civics and geography so today when we learn about the earth we are going to learn geography so are you all ready to enjoy the lesson let's begin before we begin this lesson let us talk about something interesting can you see the picture of a top given here while playing with the top which i am sure many of you must have done you must have noticed the way the top moves that motion is called spinning motion the top goes round and round on the pointed part the pointed part can be a nail like thing which we can see in the wooden top or it can be the pointed body on which the top moves in the second picture similarly our earth also spins like a top so when we are learning the lesson further i'll refer back to this top so you have to remember the top you will you are seeing here now another thing which you have to remember when we are learning the lesson is a journey by train when we are sitting in a train and looking out of the window of a moving train we find that all objects whether they are trees houses fields pillars they all seem to move past us while we are stationary it appears as if the train is not moving but the trees are moving is it so no it is actually we who are sitting inside the train who are and the train is moving and we all know that the trees will not move but doesn't it appear as if the trees are moving and the train is still similarly the earth and along with it everything that is on the earth the houses the trees everything which we find on the earth is in motion but we are not able to feel it it seems as if the sun is moving but actually the sun does not move the sun remains fixed in one place and it is the earth which is moving and the way the earth is moving that is called the motion of the earth or movement of the earth about which we are going to learn now just like a train the earth may seem to be still beneath our feet but it is actually moving and it is moving in two different ways first it is spinning around its own axis and how is it spinning it is spinning like a top now you remember the top so just like a top spins the earth also keeps spinning around its axis and while it is spinning the second movement that the earth undergoes is it is circling around the sun and is it circling just anywhere no again it is moving on a fixed orbit 
or a fixed path which is elliptical in shape. Elliptical means like an egg, it is not round, it is like an egg. So, what are the two motions of the earth which we are going to learn about? They are number one, you can see I have marked it for you, number one spinning around its own axis like a top and what do we call this motion? We call this motion rotation. I have marked it one for you and what is the other motion of the earth? The other motion of the earth is called revolution and what is it like? It is like circling around the sun. The sun does not move. The sun is in the center of the solar system and the earth is moving around the sun in its orbit. Now you will be able to understand this two motions very well when you look at the video tutorial, a small video which follows. So let us sit and watch the video first. Now did you understand the two motions of the earth now? The first motion is rotation which is the spinning of the earth and the second motion is revolution which means the earth moving around the sun. Now in this tutorial we are going to learn about rotation and what is rotation? The daily spinning movement of the earth from west to east on its own axis is termed as rotation and the imaginary line around, around which the earth moves that imaginary line is called axis. Now this axis is not straight as you can see the red line here. This is not straight it is tilted. This tilt of the earth remains fixed even when it revolves around the sun. You can go back and look in the video that the earth remains tilted. This is called inclination of the earth and the northern tip of the axis as you can see in the picture here is called north pole while the southern tip of the earth is called south pole. North means up and south means down. So north pole and south pole you can see the axis you can see and you can also see the earth which is going round like a top from west to east. Now what happens because of this rotation of earth. What are the effects of rotation of earth? So every morning when you get up you see the sun rising in the east and gradually the sun keeps moving across the sky and in the evening the sun seems to sink down in the sky and we call this sunset. So actually what happens is that as the earth moves and faces the sun, comes in front of the sun, we have day and as the earth moves away from the sun, we have night. Now the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation on its axis and this causes day and night. The important phenomena of day and night is the main outcome or effect of the spherical shape, spherical shape of the earth and its rotation. Because the earth is round like a ball and because the earth is moving on its axis, we have day and night. Now this picture makes it clear. When you look at this picture, you can see clearly that the portion of the earth which faces the sun, the sun's rays you can see it is marked as arrows and the sun's rays is written there you can see there and the blue light blue part of the earth is lighted and the other half of the earth which is black in color that is dark. So the lighted part is having daytime and the dark part has night. The part of the earth which faces the sun as you can see receives the sun's rays and it experiences day. And the other half of the earth which is on the other side away from the sun experiences darkness or night. And the imaginary line which you see here between the blue and the black portion 
which separates the lighted portion of the earth which is day from the dark one which is night is called as the circle of illumination. Now looking at this picture you can clearly see how half the earth has day and half the earth has night. Now we do not have sun day or night suddenly it does not get dark suddenly and it does not become lighted suddenly. If you get up early in the morning around 5 o'clock you will see that slowly light has it has the darkness is going away and light has started coming up but the sun is still not visible even if the sun is not out it has started becoming lighter slowly light can appears and this light is very diffuse light not not very bright light it is diffuse light as we have in the morning before sunrise and we have in the evening after sunset. So this time when the sun has not yet appeared on the horizon it has not risen the sunrise sun has not risen but still there is faint light in the surroundings at daybreak and this is called dawn D A W N and during this time the sun's rays are slanting. During the noon time the sun's rays fall directly and we have maximum heat during daytime because the sun's lights uh, sun's rays are falling vertically directly on earth and after noon we have evening and during evening time we all know the sun sets in the evening but before the even after the sun has set you will see that it does not become dark suddenly we have diffused light again faint light little light we have and slowly it becomes dark so this period of diffused light faint light before it becomes totally dark is called dusk or twilight so we have two terms which you have to remember first is dawn which is the period of faint light before sunrise and dusk which is the period of faint light after sunset. So you can see in the picture I have put there uh, where dawn is written the sun has still not come up but still it is not dark light has started coming up and here in the second one the sun has set but again it is still not totally dark we still have some light and this period is called dusk. Now another effect of rotation of earth is the movement of sun, moon and other stars from east to west. Now as I have told before it is not actual movement the sun does not or the moon or the star does not move actually from east to west but it seems to be moving because actually the earth is moving from west to east. So just like while we are sitting in the train and when we are going in one direction the trees keep moving in the opposite direction similarly because the earth is moving from west to east it seems or it appears that the sun, the moon and other stars are moving from east to west. So this is another effect of rotation of the earth. Star fact, the earth takes 23 hours, 56 minutes, 6 seconds that is approximately 24 hours to complete one rotation. This is termed as the earth day. Now with this we have come to the end of today's tutorial. What you need to do is watch the video very carefully and while watching the movements of the earth you have to see how the earth is spinning. It is rotating and at the same time it is revolving round the sun. You also have to notice how 
the sun remains fixed in one place in the center and it is the earth which is going round it the the earth is changing its position moving from one position to another and at the same time it is also rotating so be happy be safe and keep learning till we meet again